Julie, Rob, we've just learned the driver of that Jeep, Jake Yesingmeyer, is out of the hospital. Now, he, his boss says he was headed into work at 10 a.m. The call for this crash came in at 944. Police still looking into what led up to this crash. I ran out there and came across the scene. Nurse practitioner Emily Hill was working at Nebraska Medicine near 129th and Maple when staff in her building ran in describing a major accident at the Crane Coffee across the parking lot. Something from a movie that wouldn't happen every day. A lot of scared people and, and panic. A Jeep Cherokee barreling through the coffee shop, throwing one employee into the parking lot and injuring three others. The main thing in my mind was, is everybody breathing? You know, because if you don't have an airway and you don't have a pulse, you don't have a life. EMTs took the four employees to the hospital, one in critical condition. Police say Jake Yesingsmeyer was headed east on Maple towards 129th when he left the road. Came off the roadway, crossed this frontage road here, and then into the coffee shop. Yesingsmeyer told officers he blacked out and didn't remember anything. Evidence markers show the clear path, and police say there's no evidence Yesingsmeyer ever braked. Police ran drug tests on the driver. They came back negative. At this time, we're uh, actively investigating what happened with this crash. Police say speed and alcohol are not factors. Reporting live near 129th and Maple, Sarah Feely, KETV News Watch 7.